Hi everyone, welcome back to Disease History. In this video, I would like to talk about how can we deploy a monolithic application using Docker in Disease History. I suppose you guys have already known about Docker, Docker combos, and the basic of Disease History. I will make the instruction step to show you. To the beginning, you can go to the Z History website to check about Docker and Docker Combo's description. Okay, let's start. Step one, please go to this website to install the Docker desktop to your machine. If your machine is Windows, please check this one. If your machine is in Mac, please check this one. Following the step in here, you can set up the Docker into your machine. Step 2. We will create a Zhistor monolithic application. Okay, in here, we already have the sample folder so that I will use the Zhistor to generate the short code. I would like to use this as the symbol project. I think you all guys already know about this one. wait for a while it's done after finish you can check the shoe code in here you can see that the application already have the docker folder for you and this is the docker file the docker file is a set up the command of the docker and the docker can use to read and execute to package to an email following the request of the user you can see step 3 you will read the docker compose for the application You use the Z hipster Docker Compose. And you have to choose the monolithic. And please choose your project here. No. Now you can see it will automatically create the Docker combo files for you. You can see this one. OK. 
Okay. Step 4. You read the Docker email. Wait for a while. Well, it's done. Step 5. Now you can check the Docker email after running build by using the Docker image. After you build the Docker image, you will see this will have Okay. And the step six, you will run the Docker image. Okay, following the command.
please wait for a while to download the Docker email of the MySQL because you can see that in our Docker Compose we need the email of MySQL here okay okay it's done so that after running the Docker Compose, you can see the Docker container right now will have it. You can see. Yeah, it will have two container. You can use the Kymatic application to view the Docker container. Okay, you can see here. Okay, and after that, you can run the local host like this one. This part. Okay, it's done. Right now, it's run from the Docker, and we can log in. Yeah. It look good. Okay, thank you for your watching. See you.